Hello boys and girls. This is day one of our virtual midterm camp. You're all very welcome. Founder of Cleotic. Cleotic is a no mess air dry and modeling clay. It doesn't stick to clothes, carpet or hair. So whatever you make, you get to keep. Provided you're happy with it. If not, just put it back into the container. So just to recap and to show you, we made some of these little characters in our previous camp. That was a little bird, birdhouse. Then we made some little pencil toppers and moving mechanisms. So you can make everything and anything but a mess. That's why you parents will love it. So I had to record this um, because I had my first Zoom tutorial today and um, I didn't set it up properly so that the kids were able to um, interact video wise and um, speaker wise so I can't really share that out obviously so hence why I'm doing it again so that when I'm sending it out to the parents there's nobody else in it but me okay so I'm delighted thanks again for everybody that signed up I'm really really um, chuffed by the amount of people that did enroll and just um, in Scotland, so hello to Cara and Aoife in Scotland, people in Belfast, Julia in Galway, in Dublin, in Cork, a lot of people in Cork, so a big shout out to all you people in Cork. So thanks you so much for joining up and um, you're going to have a lot of fun hopefully today and for the rest of the week as well. So let's get clean. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. Okay, all these characters are not use for today I'm just going to get them out of the way and today's characters we're going to do is a little dragon and a little cyclops so the theme for this week is mythical so the cyclops obviously is a mythical creature who was a giant that only had one eye so look at that one eye monster basically and then the little dragon we're all familiar with dragons he's a little mythical character as well Okay, so in the packs that I sent out to you, you would have received this here. Okay, this is an intro pack and you need to keep it um, with you at all time. And don't be um, playing with this during the day, if you know what I mean, because I need it for the full five days. Just keep be precious with that. And then you would have got your three tools. So all this is what you need. And then obviously our tubs marked one and one. Okay, so there, these are the two tubs for today one and one okay so the first one we're going to do is we're going to take this one here with the purple and with the orange we're going to open that up now open it up just get these out of the way and we're going to learn the basic shapes to make anything from chaotic so we're going to use a purple put the rest back in because remember the air dries so keep it in the tubs at all times if you're not using it I'm going to keep you out of the way and just him as inspiration. So the first shape you need to know to make anything from chaotic is a ball. So roll into a ball. So I'm going to roll it mine in the table and then I'm actually going to roll it in the pan of my hands. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you do it. Okay. So that's the first shape. It's just a ball. Now, once we're happy with our ball, you decide where the halfway mark is. So if you see mine there, I'm going to think my halfway mark is here. So you go over and back like this, over and back like this. And you see it has a fatter bottom and a skinnier top. So that's what you call a droplet. Now, so that's the second shape. The third shape is a sausage. So you roll over and back, over and back. And that's our sausage. Okay, so... And that's our sausage. Okay, so we're going to now officially start making our dragon. Okay, so what we need to do, we're going to get all the clay, all the purple, and divide it into two. And divide this part again into two. Okay, and just set them aside. So we want the larger one, we're going to use a larger one now. And we'll pop them back in. Just to and put the lids on because remember it air dries, okay? Good. So into a ball, it's a droplet for the shape of the of the dragon's body is a droplet. Okay, just to be mindful, this is the part we're doing, the little the little dragon body. So into a ball, 
and then into a droplet. And then we position it up so it's nice and upright like that. Everybody happy with that so far? Yeah, I'm just going to bring that down a little bit just so you can see. Now, so then I supplied you with some orange. You're going to take some of the orange out. Remember, put it upside down if you want, just to keep the wear out of it. And we're going to stretch it and fold, but only need a small little bit. So around that amount of the orange, okay? Just a small little bit for the belly of the dragon is what we're doing next. So that around that amount. So you just get that out. I'm going to put it back, my bit back. Oops, it's jumping all over the place. And we're going to roll into a ball. And then a droplet. And then we're going to flatten our droplet. So the droplet is such an important shape to know to make anything from Cleotic or from any um, any other modeling clay. So look at, we have it there, flattened droplet. Yeah, and then we're going to get our tools. This tool is very important. It was in the kit and you're going to use this side here to make slices down, down, down. Down, 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 down. So in a few little marks like that, I'm going to use my tray here just to show you. Like that. And then we're going to attach it on to the body. So attach it on to the body. I'm going to hold it around to me and then I'll hold it to you. So don't worry. You keep going there. So like that. Okay. So that's the little belly done. See how simple it is? belly done now the next bits that we took aside so remember we have two bits of the purple we take one of them away we're going to use that now use that now and that's going to be our arms our legs and our tail so all those bits are going to do the arms the legs and the tail so into a ball and then into the sausage and roll it into three slice it into three little equal balls okay so remember that's going to be for the two legs this is going to be for the two arms and that's going to be for the tail so we're going to do the legs now so into a ball divide it into two and roll them into droplets very good i'm going to get you out of the way just so you don't get confused into two droplets that are kind of we're going to stand them upright so i'll just show you little standing legs like this and like this okay now in order to give any kind of design a more of a definition we're going to outline the little bottoms of the feet kind of like where the hooves would be i suppose so getting the orange you need a tiny little bit of orange like this okay and then divide it into two and this is going to be for the little hooves so roll into sausages and then wrap it around like that. See? And the same for the other one. It just gives us, you see, the purple and the orange are fantastic together, don't they? It just really, it just really stands out that orange, isn't it? So two little hooves like that. So we're going to put the body in the middle, and then we're going to get our legs. So our legs are going to go one side of the belly, and the other leg is going to go on the other side of the little belly like that okay now we're doing good we've got the body the legs the belly done so we're doing okay now remember the other wee bit that we took away we're going to divide that into two so look at into two and these are going to be the arms so whatever you're making from cleotic if you're making arms or legs and they're into two start with a larger ball and then divide it into half so that they be equal so then into a ball And then you're going to go over and back like this. Again, it's like a droplet, extend a droplet, and there are the little arms. So into a ball, over and back like that. There are going to be the two little arms. So the two little arms are going to go at the side of the dragon's body. Like that. And like that. Okay. So look at how we've done so far. We've done the body, we've done the belly, the legs and the arms. So we're getting on good, aren't we? Now, we're going to set him aside for a minute and then for the tail. So the tail, again, roll into a ball. And then into a little droplet. 
see how important the, the droplet is to know. Okay, and then we're going to position that to the back like that. So you can see the back and then you can see the little tail coming out. And again, we're going to go back to our orange bit. And you're going to do a little droplet for the sharpened bit of the dragon's tail. And then you're going to do all the little jag, little jaggy, spiky parts. So I'm going to go, if you count one, two, three, I'm going to do around five. So take, nip a little, five bits away. They don't have to be even. One, two, three, four, five. So tiny little bits, remember. Nothing too big, because you want to keep that orange again. So I have five. So we're going to roll them into balls. And then droplets. I'm going to hold that up so you can see how tiny it is. So look at so you want five of them. Okay, five plus one, two. I'll hold them up when I finish them. So into a ball, sharpen droplets. You want them to be a little bit jaggy. Three, four, and I've got bigger and smaller ones, but that'll add to the design. Four, and then final five. Okay. Five. So I'm going to hold them up to use one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then put them on. So I'm going to put the larger one in the back like that. One, two, three. Oops, four. My mind's just got a little bit um, out of shape, so I'm going to do it again. So just do it again. Three, and there's my fourth, and then five. So you can do more, you can do less. It's whatever you feel comfortable with, or you want to design your little character, however way you feel fit. So I'm going to put them up and bring them onto the camera so he stands out nice there. You see? Okay. So look, we're doing brilliantly so far, don't we? Now, the next part is his little head. So the head again is, can anybody tell me out there? Anybody tell me? Did you say droplet there, Aoife in Edinburgh? I think I heard you, you good girl. So we start off with a ball and then we're going to go into a little droplet like that. So that's going to be like where the, the nose, the fatter part is where the nostrils will go in his mouth and the smaller bit are where the ears will go, okay? So in order to get the ears, you can just nip a bit of the of the clay up like that. Just nip it like that and up like that, like that. So you've got two little ears pointing up. Yeah? Great. And then you can get your tool here. This is a great tool. Always have it at hand. And we're going to put a little slice in the ear. Slice there and the slice there. I'll hold it up to the camera now so just don't worry. So you can see there's a little slice on each of the ears and there okay so again with this tool when we have this tool you're going to go from one side to another so i'm just going to hold it in my hands like this and you're going to get your tool and you're going to go up up and up like that okay so this is where our intro pack now comes in we're going to take our intro pack and it might take you a minute or so just to open them up but we're looking for white so white is the color we're after so you open it up and we're going to do the little teeth. If I show you my character, which I did, um, there's a little white section there and then there's two little jaggy teeth. So we're going to do the white flattened teeth first. So tiny, I mean tiny bits, don't be using loads of it. Or that, see this tiniest little bit into a ball. So I'm going to roll mine into a ball and then a little sausage. Okay. Like that. And then you're going to, I'm going to just for dramatic effect, I'm going to slice into it so that it looks like real teeth. One, two, three. Do like that. And then we're going to put it on. Just like that. So he's got lovely little front teeth. Can everybody see? Yeah. And then we're going to get two little, a little jaggy bit there and a little jaggy bit there. 
So again, tiny bits and turn those upside down around that amount, divide it into two, and then two sharp droplets. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in like this. Sharpened droplet. Do the other one. Sharpened droplet. Okay. Now, so I'm going to just get use this tool and see if I can just insert it up. So look it in and then drag it down at the top and then drag it down. It's like that. So he's got two little sharpened ones to the front. Yeah. Great. Now I'm going to get this tool here. This is my eye socket tool, I call it. And we're going to indent little holes where the eye should go. So the eye should go there and the eye should go there. So that's where you want the eyes to be positioned. So again, I'm going to take out a white clay. So a large bit, of, well, not large, but around that amount of white and then divide that into two. And half it. And then into a bowl, so two little bowls. And then you insert them where the eye should go. So the whites go, just jumped up. There you go, into a ball. I can grab it. There we have it now. And then I'm going to insert it into the little hole like that. Okay, so there we have the eyes. Now we're going to get a little bit of blue. So again, the intro pack you'll have and be naughty. Keep the lids on, remember boys and girls. We're going to go into our blue. So there's the blue. And take a tiny amount of clay out. And this amount. And divide that into two. So again, you've white, then you have the blue. So we're working from large, the head is large, the eyes are getting tinier and tinier. So into a blue ball, into a blue ball. So like that. Okay. And then again, the black. So we're working from the large of white, the smaller blue to the tiniest bit of black. Okay. So look at this amount. I mean tiny, see it? Teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny. Yeah. We're going to cut that in two. And this is going to, mine's too big. So just two smallest, tiniest. Look at it. Can you see it? Tiny onto the blue. And same for the other side. Into the blue. Like that. So mine are little googly eyes. So that makes it more dramatic, doesn't it? Okay. So we're doing good. Now, again, I'm going to use this tool, the, the eye socket tool that I was telling you about earlier. I'm going to use this tool here. And we're just going to put a little indication of where the nostrils will go. So there and there. There are the two little holes where the nostrils will go. And then we're going to get this bit of orange. So a tiny bit of orange. Okay, and then cut that into two equal little balls. Roll them into balls and put them where the nostrils should go. Just like that, and just like that. Okay, so then you get your tool here again and just insert another little incision just to give the indication that, you know, that's where the fire will come out, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to, my little, one of my teeth have just dragged in, but I can pull that out nicely. So look at that's kind of the head there. I'm actually going to put a little horn or a little, um, yeah, a little sharp bit there just to give it a little bit of design definition. So again, around that amount and a sharpened droplet. So into the ball, into a sharpened droplet, and then put it up like that. Okay. So that's done. So we've got the head done. We've got the little body. We've got the belly done. We've got the arms and the legs and then the tail. So we're doing very good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is are the wings. So the wings, if you just look, I'm going to hold them up. The wings are just flattened droplets. If you can see it there. 
Yeah, flattened droplets. So I'm going to get this here. So a larger amount. So I'll just show you around the amount that you need. So in around this amount, and then we're going to half it again. So remember, from a larger to a smaller amount. And we're going to roll them into a ball. And then you're going to flatten it like that. So a ball, a droplet, and then flatten it. I'm, going to put the, I'm just going to get his head out of the way. Put you in there so you can see like that. So that's what they we're after. We want to equal. So something the same on the other side. Ball, a droplet, and then flatten it. Now, so you have two little wings. So that looks good. So we're going to give them illusion that they look that they are wings. So I'm just going to put them like that. So that one's going to go on that side of the body of the dragon, and that one's like that. And then we're going to make little incisions upwards like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then we go up, 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 up. Push up. So it just gives a little kind of a feathery feel. Like that. Okay. Now in our kit, again, the intro pack, you would have got, you have all your colours. I'm going to use black just as an outline for the wings, just again to give a definition. So you only need a small amount of black again, around that amount. And you're going to roll it into a long sausage. So look at me, roll into a sausage. So this is the easiest of shapes. The, the droplet is the most challenging one. So you've been using that quite a lot, so you've, you've perfected it. So you just want to do it a little bit, the black to be nice and long. And then we're going to half it, because remember we have two wings into two. And then you're going to put it like this all around all around like that and the other side to so do the same for the other side so you can't really see it on my tray i'm going to hold it in my hands now one tick so don't worry like that so it's like an outline you want the outline of the shape in black whatever color you choose but don't use too much of the colors just a small little bit because you'll be using that for the next four days so like that and that Okay, so then we're going to stick it on at the back. So look at I'm going to wrap, turn around to you. I'm going to stick it on like this. And I'll show you in a minute. So that's one of the wings at the back. See, I, ha I have my little sharpened um, jaggy point there. So I have mine the other side. And you put the other one on the other side. So he's looking good already, isn't he? Ta-da! Yeah, so just check you've all those little bits done. You've got the wings on, you've got the arms, you've got the legs, you've got the tail, you've got all the little jaggy bits. So you're doing great. Yep, brilliant. Now with the head, we have all our little bits done. So the head, and just for future reference, sometimes when I'm making my characters, I always give, if you have a little cocktail stick at hand, you can insert it and then put it in on the head so that it'll rotate but just for now you can just stick it on okay and that's our little dragon so he's looking good isn't he now just hold him around like that and remember it's an air drying clay chaotic so you don't um you just keep it aside and then you can keep it forever and ever so give it a day or so and it'll air dry and then after that you can play with it okay so that's our activity number one finished. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm just going to put him aside and then talk about our next little guy. So we are going to do Mr. Cyclops. So there we go. Him, but he has a badge on the back of it, remember. So he has a little badge on the back. So that's good. You can actually wear it again when it's dry after a few days. Okay. Now. So that all, <clears throat> all of him is in this kit here with the blue and the peach. So we have all those. So just the one thing we need, and I have this eye, but you might have the other eye. It depends what eye you have. It doesn't matter. 
but whatever eye you go with it, okay? So we need to get the back of the of the little um, brooch out, okay? And it came with this bit here. So I, I don't think we need it. So I just tuck mine apart. And you can use that for cutting, you know, uh, shapes with any other clay that you have. Just keep that aside, okay? You don't need that. So we're going to concentrate on just doing the little back. So take around this amount of blue clay. Okay, and you're going to roll it into a sausage. So into a nice long sausage. So I'll show you how much, maybe a little bit but too much. So around that amount of blue clay into a sausage. Okay, and then wrap it around. Wrap it around like that. Like that. Wrap it all around. Wrap it around, wrap it around. So that you want it, you just want, look at what I'm doing, I'm wrapping it around the edges. Because the the head of it's going to stick kind of that blue bit. So you just want to wrap it around the edge. Just like that. So this might take a while. So you just concentrate there. I'm just going to concentrate on my side here. And then I'll hold it up to you. Now, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just as long as there's some clay. Because the clay shrinks, remember? So it'll bind to the backing. It'll actually bind itself. Which that's what we want. Okay. So something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. Don't worry. But you just want a little edging. You just want a little edge. Okay. So I'm just going to set that aside for the moment. And then we're going to... Put the, the blue away just for a minute and take out some of the peach, okay? So the peach is obviously the head of the cyclops. So we're going to stretch and fold. We're going to stretch and fold the peach. Okay, stretch and fold just to warm it up a bit because it is very cold here. I'm in here in Dundalk and it's very cold today. So I'm just going to stretch it and fold it. And we're going to take enough around this amount, look at it. I mean, this amount of clay for the ears and the nose. Just take that enough. I want a big nose, so I want to take it, and then that will be enough for the head. So setting that just tray aside for one minute, and I'm going to do mine on the table. So it's a ball. We're going to do a ball for the head. So into a ball. Into a ball. So nice and wrinkle-free. Nice and wrinkle free. So into a ball. I'm going to do actually in the palm of my hands as well. Just whatever you feel comfortable, you do. Now, so like that. I'm going to put on the black. It'll stand out better, won't it? Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to flatten him. Flatten him like this. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of the clay. So take, I want a big enough nose. So I'm going to do my nose quite big around this amount. Okay. And we're going to roll it on the table and then stick it on to the center kind of of his head. It is a big nose, but just for car for you know character, it makes it more fun. So then, and then using this tool, my eye socket it can be my nostril tool. You just insert the little hole into his nose like that and that. So you have two little nostrils. Yeah. So that's where, that's the nose kind of done there. It's going to make sure the nostrils are nice and big as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we're going to take our eyeball. So you would have got, and you might have got two eyeballs, but I would just use, obviously it's a cyclops, so we're just going to use one. I'm using this guy here. That was in my pack, okay. So you insert it in, whoops, above the nose. And that, and then you're going to flatten it in like that. So you have the nose the eye and the head done yeah now the ears are very simple again <clears throat> I'm going to give mine big ears because I just have this amount of clay so I'm going to go roll it into a ball and then divide into because you want the ears to be equal as equal as you can and then you're going to flatten them balls flatten and then at the side of his head so that's where the ears usually go to the side so mine's going to be a big ear guy isn't he big ear Two big ears, that side and that side. He looks like the character from Wallace and Gromit, doesn't he? Now, and then we're going to get our tool. So either side, I might go for the big one because my ears are quite big. I'm going to go with that, indent, indent. Like that. So we have the ears on now. 
you have the eyes. So we're doing quite good, aren't we? Brilliant. I hope you're enjoying it. Eyes. Yes, very good. Good, good, good. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually going to use this tool. This is a nice little tip for making faces. So this tool here, this is the, the smile, I call it. So you get your tool and you insert it like that. Just so that it gives an, um, an illusion of a smiley face. Yeah, brilliant. So we're going to go on to the blue that's in your pack. <clears throat> so this blue here, you stretch it and you fold it. You stretch and you fold again. And we're going to do we're going to do the little um, beard first. So the beard. So I have three strands. You can see mine. It's kind, of, it's kind of like three plaits almost. So one, two, three. Okay. So we're going to take three equal amounts. So I'll just show you around that amount of clay. You want a good bit for the hair. So take around that amount away for the beard. And if you need more, you can obviously take from this blue. Okay. And then we're going to into a ball. And then put it. <clears throat> divide it into a sausage, sorry, into a sausage and then divide it into three. So one, two, three, try and get as even as possible. Again, you don't, I'm not going to be too strict, which is boys and girls. So three little strands there. And then we're going to roll into a sausage. Into a sausage, into a sausage, into a sausage. Okay. Same for you, into a sausage. Like this, and the same here. Okay, so there's our, our three strands kind of done. These are the, going to be obviously the beard. So then we're going to divide it into two. So you just half like that, see, you double it over, and then you twist, you twist, twist 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 and twist it's like that so you, you just want to get it all combined so again over and then twist 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 so it's like a, it's like a plat almost isn't it yeah like that so that's our second one and then our third one so again fold over over like that and then you twist and you twist and you twist. So that's three strands. Okay. Now this is going to go underneath his little mouth like that. So like this. So you have the three little strands hanging down. Okay. And then we're going to nip into the blue again because we're going to be using all this blue anyway. You're going to do a big moustache. So again, into a ball. Around, I've taken that for his moustache, maybe a little bit less. Just depends on what you want. With that amount. And then you roll over and back like this. Over and back, over and back. And then into two, because the moustache is two sides kind of equal. And you're going to put them on there. And then I'm going to just twist it up to give it like an illusion of just a little upstanding moustache. And then with this tool here, you're going to insert it like that. So like that and like that. I just need to look at them and then I'll show them to you. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so now the hair is going to be, you can do it any way you want. I'm going to show you a few little styles you could do. So let's just see, I've got this amount of clay left. So we could do, I'm going to do one around five or six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, actually, seven. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still have some left over, so I'm just going to put that underneath there for now if you're not using it. And again, we're going to do all our little strands of hair. So nice, even if you can get them even, do so. If not, will not worry too much. So around the strand, I'm going to measure, yeah, around that length. And then another one. So you know the way your hair, you can have shorter bits at the front anyway. And if you want to give them a fringe, we may do the shorter bit. So whatever way you want to style your hair, please feel free. And um, you might do a few little twisty ones as well to give them a little bit of a, a little curly headed 
block as well. And then like this. So we're all our little strands of hair lined up. Strands of hair. So I have two, three long ones. This is my fourth one. And this is my fifth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with those for now because I can add to it anyway at a later a later date. So I have them up like this. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start in the middle and work on down. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might just put one actually in front of his ear like that. And the same for you on the other side. Okay, and then shorter little bits of hair this side. Shorter little bits of hair the other side. Okay, so again, use it the hairstylist, you can design it any way you like. Okay, you can have some. I'm going to put one behind his ear. So look at the blue, and then behind his little ear as well. Okay, I'm going to put a couple behind there. So enjoy it. And then you could actually twist it. So this is a nice little one. You twist. This is just if you want to give him a curly hair illusion. You could do a little curl coming down. Twist it like that. See? Like this. And twist it down. Just coming down on his little face like that. I'm actually going to go for another couple here just to balance it off. So I'm going to go one. I'm going to go two more strands at least. Okay, and bring it to the back just again to give it more fullness. Yeah, and I'm actually going to do my final one. I'm going to do it another twisty kind of corkscrew hair design. So look at twist, wrap, 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 wrap. Just like that. So kind of got a side do coming on. Okay. So now I want to actually give him a few more little cheeks there as well. Just little little rosy cheeks. So get some white. So nip a bit of white away in that amount. Just no, actually that's too much because you want to keep it just a tiniest little bit of white that you can get. Okay. And then we're going to add. A tiny bit of red. So we have red in our packs here. So you have all the, you have all the eight colours here. Oops, I grab mine because the red's at the bottom. And we're going to open up and you're going to mix the red. So with Cleotta, you can mix your colours, which is fantastic. You can get any shade or any tone you're after, which is a wonderful thing. You learn about colour theory as well. So for all the kids out there. So a tiny little bit of red, like that. I'm going to mix it to the white. So always add less red to the white to make pink. It's got basically a pinky color we're going to be making. So we're stretching and we're folding and we're stretching and we're folding and we're stretching and we're folding like this. Okay. Yeah, see the way my color is coming nice? See, that's how we mix colors. You stretch and you fold and you stretch and you fold. Now, so that's a lovely amount. If you don't use all the pink, we can keep it anywhere and use it um, during the week for other activities. So I, want, I, I made too much. I'm just going to take around this bit away. Okay, and then I'm going to divide it into two. Divide it into two. And roll it into two little balls. So this will give him a little bit of a little bit of a colour on his cheek and give him more definition. And then flatten it like that okay now with this tool here we're going to get little um do little wrinkles as well so we're going to get, get this tool here and we're going to go wrinkles let's hold up to the camera so just underneath his eyes just a little bit like as if he's an old man like an old ogre kind of so just a few little wrinkles at the side of his eyes eye he's only one, one eye hasn't he yeah you're right and then a few little wrinkles on his forehead so using the slice tool Sorry. 
Um, I just wanted to check something here. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to bring it down. Um, now, we're going to just get this here and we're going to put a few little slices on the top of his head so he looks like a wrinkly old cyclops. Yeah? He's looking good, isn't he? Now, just for the little, see the way his little um, beard is kind of going everywhere? We want to kind of tie it, it, it all into a bunch, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to use the white clay. So it's like an, um, as if he has like a little hair grip on his base of his hair. So again, this is all you learn about a few tricks. So you want to be able to know the basics, but you also want to be able to know some detailed work as well. So I'm going to use this tray here. I've taken this amount of white. And I'm going to divide it into two, okay? So you're going to roll this out into a long sausage for the hair. And you're going to wrap it around, again, just so it looks like a hair band. I don't know what the, the, the Cyclops would have called it, but just to grip his hair, he probably used a rope or something, wouldn't he have? It's like that. So it's just at the bottom. I'm going to indent it just so that it looks as if it's tighter. So bring all of them together and then indent. Like that the bottom where the white is yeah and now the next thing we're going to do is a big it's not a big but it's a bow and some of you girls out there i know are very good at making bows um but i'm going to do my version so i have the white bit there and i'm going to divide it into three so because the bow is three parts the center and then the two little bits to the side so we're going to roll into a ball and then a droplet a ball and the droplet. So they're going to be the two little bow sections. Okay, like this and like this. And then a little ball in the center. Oops. In the center like that. And in the center. Like, can you see? Sorry, I was going to hold it up to the camera. So I have two droplets and then one little ball in the center. So something like that. Okay, and I'm going to indent it. I'm going to indent it and indent it. Okay, and then I'm going to join it up. So you have the ball in the center, the two droplets either side, just so that it gives the illusion of a little bow or the way he tied his little hair like that. Okay. He's looking good, isn't he? I hope he's happy so far. Yeah. And um, now another little thing I want to do, because I gave him the big nostrils there, I want to be able to give him, you know, like a little, almost a ring, you know, like a nose ring. So again, I'm using black and I'm going to mix it with a tiniest little bit of white. So a tiniest little bit of white. So in that and that. Look at can't even see the bit of, I'm going to hold on to the thing. So a tiny bit, less black than white basically. Okay, And then we're going to stretch and fold and stretch and fold to be able to make mix the colour. And can anybody tell me out there what colour black and white make? Yeah, did I hear Julienne Belfast? Yeah, I did. Good girl, grey. So you're going to roll into a ball. You're going to stretch and fold and just I'm just trying to mix the colors and it's so small you just have to keep an either even lovely small little hands out there so you can stretch and fold like this stretch and fold stretch and fold and then you'll it become it will become a lighter black it should be gray but my yeah mine is nice actually gray so you're going to go like this and like this and like this and you're going to do a little nose ring Whoops. So use again, have lovely small little hands, you'll be well able for that. So it's like that. Let me just see him. Oh, look at he's very cool. Yeah, and then we're going to give him ears because I've got nice big ears there. So I'm going to give him an earring as well. So an earring there on this side. You can do two. I think I might just stick with one if you don't. Yeah, but whatever you want you you're comfortable with. So again, a little bit of black, a little bit of white. And mix away so small or tiny bits of black so into a ball and then you just mix like this stretch and fold stretch see that it goes lovely and marbly first it goes marbly and then if you keep going it'll go gradually the gray color 
So you learned a few things today. You learned about shapes, you learned about colours. So it's all about learning as well. But enjoyment, obviously, is the main thing, isn't it? Yes, we've had enough of homeschooling, haven't we? We certainly have had. So there you go. And then into a sausage. And we're going to wrap it into the ear. And then over it like that. Okay. So he's looking good, isn't he? Now, so the end bit is, so with the bit, remember that we added earlier the blue outline. So that should be ready to go now. So it'll be like that. Remember, boys and girls out there, they're sharp. So be careful when you're opening that. So don't open it for now anyway. Keep it on for a day and then you'll be able to wear it. So just make sure that the blue is stuck to it in some capacity. And then the head should bind, should sit in nicely. So I'm just going to put it like that, like that. And just put a little bit of pressure. So just gentle, because you don't want them all squeezed. So I'm going to use my eye and, or my, my thumb and stick where the eye is. Just put a little bit of pressure on it so that he's sticking to the background of the brooch. Of the brooch. I'm going to put up his hair like that. So again, you can manipulate the hair, do whatever way you want. Okay, so I'm just going to turn around the back. So it should be like that. Nice and firm to the back. Now, I'm going to hold it up to that. So yeah, so that's kind of what we're after today. Actually, I just wanted to just think that we might just give him a little bit of, a, of an eyebrow. So a tiny bit of blue if you have any left. Into a little sausage and then just to give him a little bit of finesse, a big hairy eyebrow, yeah. One big hairy eyebrow to complete the Cyclops look. Yeah. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. So we're just gonna put our two characters that was made, that were made today. So Cyclops number one, and then dragon number two. Yeah. So that's completed. I'm just going to just give a little twirly, just a little rotation there, so you can see it in all its its glory. So remember, this is air drying clay, boys and girls. So you'll be able to keep these little characters literally forever and ever. Your mum will be delighted or your dad will be delighted with them as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that there, um, that activity. So again, the theme for the week is mythical. So we'll be carrying on, obviously, in that theme for the next four days. So for tomorrow, can everybody have day two and the tub set remarked number two? That'd be fantastic. And always have our intro sets and the tools at hand. So um, many thanks again for joining up. Um, I really appreciate, I really appreciate the support. Um, if you want as well, you can upload your photographs to my Facebook page, Chaotic, All But Chaotic. I have a Facebook and I have an Instagram as well. So I really would appreciate that because I love seeing the pictures, the end products. It just makes my, um, it does my heart good to see what I've created and your interpretation of my creations. So listen, thanks again, and um, I will see you all being well tomorrow at 10, and it will be recorded anyway, and obviously I will um, email you the recording. So listen, thanks a million, and stay well, stay safe. Bye, bye-bye.